Well, we're back here at the beginning of the second half. St. <coughs> Joe's leads 35-14. St. Joe's will kick off to Wayne Hills. John will give you a quick summary of the scoring here. It's been a lot. St. Joe started off with a touchdown pass from Alcam to Jun uh, June for 81 yards. Then Rodriguez, uh, four-yard TD run, 7.08 on the clock. Then Farina went 10 yard for a touchdown run. Then June intercepted a pass, make it 21 7. Then Marcus Jam Jamison, 14 yard run for a touchdown. Then Fasadi, 8 yard TD when he was injured, made it 35 7. Then Eric Moscow passed from the Grote for 22 yards and a touchdown. And we had a big interception by Quinn. How's that? Well, that's very good. <laughs> Fasadi will kick. Comes down. Quinn will have. No, Moscow has, excuse me. So the two, there goes Moscow around the right side and he's upended as he crosses the 30 yard line. Austin Barber on a stop. Yeah, good field position to start for Wayne Hills the second half and you know, three scores down. It starts with uh, this drive right now. And it's funny that Bergen Catholic was here last week, played one of the memorable games. They're playing today and they lead, I believe it's Passaic Deck, 35-14, same score we have here. It was 14-14 wow. in that game. So they came out a little bit slow. Mm. Well, it, it happens when you play a game with that you know, unbelievable game for 38-37. So when you realize overtime. you're dealing with kids. And sometimes with the pros, they come out and they're gonna, they're gonna be flat after a big game. Here's a handoff now to get the number. I don't know if that's Schiller or Rodriguez. Take your pick. It's probably Rodriguez. Yeah, it looks like it's Rodriguez. He's usually the first. No, let me see. Rodriguez. 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 Number six. Fasadi and Giles Harris on the tackle for Joes. Second down, nine yards to go for Wayne Hills. If you just joined us, it's been a scoring plethora <laughs> here with St. Joe scoring 35 points in the first half and Wayne Hills matching with 14. That's a lot of scoring, seven touchdowns, huh? First half. But Eight I think scoring in high school has, has gone up drastic. Well, the passing game, the evolution of the, of the spread offense and the passing game. Just about everybody runs a spread yeah. offense. Just about. I mean, you still have like Ridgewood, right? <laughs> yeah, but they're successful in the. The uh, now throws out here, Wink and Tate. he has Rodriguez who gets across <coughs> down the sideline, and going across the 35-yard line, he's upended just shy of the 40. Did a great job running that time. Uh, I think we had a. I'm trying to pick up number seven made the stop for saving Mensa. Yeah, missed tackle number nine. Dominic Carfagno for Joe's, which allowed him to pick up an extra 15 yards. Nice, simple, safe screen pass. To get the quarterback going, Justin DeGroke going here in the second half. So they put the ball back on the 49 yard line. Of Quickly Joseph. to the line. Quinn is out. Here's Rodriguez again off the left side. Falls forward for about a yard, maybe two. Carfagno on the stop, yeah, nice, number nine. Nice runner, this kid. <laughs> uh, Rodriguez always runs with it with his shoulder pads down and a forward lean. That time he got hit at the line of scrimmage and fell through for about a yard and a half. And he is a senior, and they have him at 5'9", 188 pounds, a lot like Farina. You know, not overly big, but right. very powerful. Tight formation here. The goat looks, wants to throw, <coughs> overthrows his man. Marco, we had him there about the, about the 41-yard line. Moscow. Yeah, you had him that time, just overthrow him. That's one of the safest passes around, right? Because you know he's going a six, seven yards and the turnaround button hook. So now here's a passing down for Wayne Hills, third and long. On a 48. 48 yard line, just the start of things here in the third quarter. 35 to 14, St. Joe's leads. If you just joined us over Wayne Hills, we are WCTV, the old volunteer group from the township of Washington. And we have a whistle on the play as flags <coughs> come in. And let's see if they're going to make this too yeah. much time. Going to have a motion yeah. penalty on the fullback. Justin Hogan uh, moved a little bit. Going to make it uh, third and 13 now. <laughs> so now we even got a even farther way to throw the ball. So this is what you really don't want. What do you think here, Jim? If you were coaching here, would you do something safe, like a, maybe a screen pass or even a, a, a draw, a sprint draw, a delayed draw? Might, might want to see a draw. <laughs> Or would you air it out downfield to uh, one of your wide receivers? I'm a bubble screen. <laughs> there you go, bubble screen. <laughs> nice move. Oh, oh and big hit. Hello. No gain on, maybe, a, no, I'm sorry, back to the original line of scrimmage. Marcus Jemison, the safety, coming downhill there and, and let, laying the wood. Poor 
Jake Van Peenen. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and he made a nice move, and all of a sudden he said, hello. Most cow will kick. Van Peenen, the younger brother of, uh, I believe, Ray Van Peenen, a great running back of about Wayne? seven or eight years ago wow. from Wayne Hills. Was he a great running back? Wayne is a, a, a hotbed for football players. Oh. Yeah. Two great junior programs, the, Lo the Boys Club of Wayne and the PAL, when they produce a lot of, a lot of football players. We do. Ball is bound, takes oh, a nice, nice roll, bounce. rolling to the 10. Still rolling as it gets close to the five, and there it will die on the five, where St. Joe's will take over. First and 10 on their five yard line with 9.27 to go. They lead Wayne Hills 35 to 14. 15. Handoff, this is Wynn. Look at the moves what, by banging Mr. around. And, he, and he's still on his feet. He's still down. down and he gets a first down, I believe. Larry, I could have used him at my wedding. <laughs> Doing the steps, a little <laughs> slap all over the field. <laughs> like a pinball, kept bouncing around and nobody can get him down. Yeah, very physical runner. I think two years ago at Giant Stadium, he was the one who made that interception against St. Peter's. Could be. I don't. It was. I believe it was. You mean the opening game or not the final, right? No, uh, no, not in the final. <laughs> Here's a win again. This time he is dropped. Paul comes out, but he was down. Yeah, Matt Chunky and they made a nice play there for the tackle. He made I, that might have been his older brother win. I Could, believe there was an older right. brother. And, and that ga game was against St. Peter's. Yes. The preseason. The kickoff classic. The kickoff classic. classic. That was a great game. That was a close game. That was 14-7 at the point. Yep. And, and went and brought it back for a touchdown. And I think you also broke a long trap. <laughs> yes. That was a great game. Ball camp, calling signals, fakes, looking for, looking downfield. Oh. And he is, oh, oh, oh God, that's a live ball. And they're going to call it forward pass. Now they're going to call him yeah. in the grasp, I think. In the grasp, well, that was forward pass. <laughs> Let's, Let's see. see. Call him right there on uh, yeah, yeah, they're gonna call in him the grass. Because either, either he lost the ball or he pitched it forward, which underhanding it forward would be a forward yeah. pass. But they're calling it in the grass before he like got rid of the ball. Potato. <laughs> hot potato. Third down and really long now. They gotta get to the 30 yard line, 31 yard line. And great defensive three plays right yeah, now. Spence all cap might have been smart just to tuck it under the arm there and take the sack. Yep. Came close to losing the ball. All camp is looking, looking, <laughs> fires downfield. Oh. At June. And the ball is incomplete as most cows. As he hit, as he hit the ground, the ground caused the fumble. Yeah, he great job by the safeties there, playing center field, coming downhill, hitting June, had it in his hands. Perfect throw yes. by out camp. And it would have been enough for the first down. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Good start for Wayne Hills on defense. Most cow with the uh, dropping back. First Number 22 punt. along with Rodriguez. St. Joe's first punt of the day. And you notice who nice punts. Nice kick. You know Rodriguez is calling for a fair catch at the 45 yard line where Wayne Hills will take over. First and 10 with 7.20 to go. They trail 35 14 to St. Joe's. Oh, yeah. There's a pitch out. And oh. boom, he was injured. Let's see if this is um, uh, number seven running uh, Kulin. 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 Kuhn line. Kuhn line. Kuhn line. Just came in. Great Kuhn line. You can and see the clean. Looks like his shoulder was out. Yeah, yeah. maybe shoulder out. That toss, that toss play was turned in by 44. Joseph Giles Harris. He's done a good job of forcing Excellent stuff job. back inside. He's been playing a lot today, doing yes. a great job for St. Joe's. Looks like linebacker or defensive end. Yeah, outside linebacker. Outside, outside linebacker. So second down and nine yards to go. Second and nine for the Hogan game. and Rodriguez in the backfield. Rodriguez has the ball, looking for a block, looking for the edge. He has some room. He's at the 40 and falls to the 35 yard line. Yeah, a little outside zone stretch play. They got to the edge. We, have an, we have an injured player and down here. Looks like uh, 27 win. win. What I like about that play by uh, Rodriguez, he showed like he was going to go inside and then just broke it out with the speed and a big first down. That's Breon Wynn. Breon Wynn is down. It had to be his older brother. Yes. Uh, or another win. I'm not sure. Win is coming off the field. And there's win out here. Yeah. There he Plenty is. Plenty of wind here. <laughs> Some people call it hot air. 
That's here. <laughs> so he's coming off. He's walking a little better. Yeah, under his own power. Yeah. And he says, I want to stay in this game. This Rodriguez runs the ball very, very well. Excellent running back. I mean, he, he's, he's carried a load here today. With him and Schiller. Here we go. <coughs> Rodriguez hits the line like hitting a wall. Yeah, that was that was Troy K, the defensive tackle that time, taking the fullback trap on. Yep. And Barber, Orson Barber, done a nice job at junior, tight end. Uh, Troy K was uh, spent his first two years at Don Bosco, transferred last year, had an ankle injury. You could see him wearing a, a little brace on his right ankle. Very, very strong player, athletic. We have to mention Hester uh, from DePaul is yeah, here now, Ty I Hester. believe. Uh, he's got to sit out 30 days. Big, uh, big news this week came out. Quinn is out to the right. It's gonna be a stretch play to Rodriguez. A lose one, two, Broke a tackle. and gets three yards. Shot at a, just shy of the 30 yard line. And look at, the, and they're picking him up. Number nine, see that's sportsmanship. Well, Dominic he's, Carfano. He's done a lot just today. Just picked up Rodriguez. They have two outstanding running backs. You see flashes, guys, of a very, very good team. And when you could bring back the passing <laughs> attack and add it to the running game, they're and gonna now, have something special. And that number 19 over there walking around with the crutches, <laughs> yes. he will make that. And there'll be a potent out offense. We got a uh, double to the right. You might see a fade up top, yes. Here comes a fade. He's got him too. Field. Oh. Just Ooh. overthrows Colquitt. You can see Colquitt there. Tapping on his helmet. Yeah. The defender was playing inside yeah. leverage. He knew he had to fade. The quarterback read it. He just put a little too much air under it. Most Cal had him. Fourth down, and they're going to have to go for it here. Well, they, they do have a kicker. That's uh, a heck of a kick. I don't that, think here now with 447. 49 yard. Only a 49 yard. 49, 49, 49 yard. Yard. He might make it. Oh, there's. Mr. Beckmeyer is coming. Beckmeyer. I wonder oh, if his birthday must be coming. It was recently. I think it was last week. Oh, it was last you. week. Can we, can we sing him happy birthday for We him? sang happy birthday to him a number of years ago when uh, St. Joe's was playing uh, Paramus County. And I fought down at a timeout. It's a big play here for Wayne Hills and I Coach uh, Olsen calls a timeout. So when we come back, be 4.47 to go. Wayne, Wayne Hills is lo looking at a fourth down and seven quarter. yards to go. The ball will be on their 32-yard line, on St. Joe's 32-yard line. Signal, looks like a, 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 a rush him. The throw throws, has ah. a pass, Cal. It's good enough for a first down as he comes back. He was a comeback battle. Moscow. So Moscow gets the first down, and on fourth and eight, they hit a big fourth down you know, play. When DeGroat, Justin can set his feet, when he does it, he's very, very accurate. You know, this is all the, everything that you want. Quinn comes out to the left. Hogan and Rodriguez are the running backs. Hand off to Rodriguez. Stretch it's play. A He's got play. a seam. He's got a seam inside. Coach will go to the down. A penalty go flies in. in. Touchdown. But they may call it back. Yeah, you might have had a hold on the corner there. It was questionable, you got, but uh, you got the flag. You got 22 from the 22-yard line. It looks like it's coming back. That comes a nice one. This Rodriguez, he... He finds a way to get in that hole and then has enough speed to run past yeah, the very patient. Yeah. He changes that speed, which is great. And he gives like a move, you're going inside, and then he goes outside very quickly, which makes the defense change speed. And he's, he's the one that knows where he's going instead of playing to the outside. Yeah, the ball on the Saint Joe 28. So they're going to be a first and, first and, first and 15. 15, looks like. Yes, from the... Flag, I, I'm, I'm impressed with this Rodriguez. I really am. Well, and he's, he's running against a top defensive team here. I, I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with the whole team. <laughs> they've, they've been playing extremely well against a very good squad. The <laughs> boat wants throws outside, no good. Intended for the wide receiver on the flats out there, number 24, Pustrulio. You know what, we, ha we, have to, we have to talk about this play here. Number 61. Zoltowski made the play, he hurried the throw, and then he, as good friendship, picked up picked the young up. man and, and gave him a little pat. That, that was excellent. A little mix up in the backfield <coughs> on the handoff. DeGroote did well just to get the ball off. Yeah, with Steve Pistrella. This is what I want to see in football, you know, with 
you know, the play is over, you help out your, your teammate there or your opponent. Four ten to go in the third quarter. St. Joe's continues with a 35-14 lead. Touchdown was taken off the board <laughs> for uh, Wayne Hills on a uh, holding penalty. Most Cal goes out to the left. Here's fake, Gloat wants, fires oh, downfield. <coughs> and it's Big knocked somebody. away. The ball was up in the air. Both men went up. It was, let's see, number seven. I was, I was watching uh, number 13 then. Yeah, the the number thir 13, the grow took a shot Ooh. by Troy K there, and that's what's what enabled the ball to be underthrown. He had the receiver. I tell you, he's hurting going out right there. He had those wobbly legs as he got up. He's got nice size. DeGroat. 6'2". Yeah, nice size. Lanky. Oh, look at this. He's coming back. <clears throat> I like to see that. <clears throat> but he took a hit. Or else, that could have been a completion. Yep. <laughs> he got behind him. He got behind Mensa there. Well, third and 15. Gwynn and Moscow are out to the right. Boat's going to throw. Goes so downfield, ah. it's oh. intercepted by June off the deflection. And June is pitching oh. back. <laughs> and Giles still has it and gets knocked out of bounds on the far side. As and Rodriguez is down somewhere around the 31 yard line. <laughs> I bet, you know what? I bet June and uh, number 44, Giles Harris, must be buddies because he said, let me. Let like me, the hot potato play. Yeah, let me give him the ball. Yeah, that's Stanford, time, like that, the Stanford play. You know, play. again, guys, the Groat <coughs> was unable to get the ball there because his feet and his mechanics were not there. So he's, that's something he's got to work on the rest of the year. I just saw number six, uh, Rodriguez, getting up. He took a shot. Yeah, he got a, he got blocked back on the on the thing, but he's a tough kid. He's walking off. Yeah. So they took a t t t seven points were taken off on the board by a hold by um, Wayne Hills, and they turn it over on the deflected the pass. Uh, by D June got that ball and ran it up. The ball's now on about the 20-yard line. All camp calling signal. That's two INTs for yep. June today. Oh, look at Jemison. this Jemison, he's in the he play. He's go. gone. He's at the 40. Well, he's at the 30, 20, he could 15, go. 10, oh. 5, touchdown. Woo. From the 31, 69, 69 yards. 69 yards. Marcus Jemison, as he's fast. Boy, when he hit the line of scrimmage, he was gone. It was a track me right then. Whoa. It was the line of scrimmage and I'll see you. And just like that, a 14 point swing between the touchdown that was taken off the board and the 69 yard touchdown run by Jemison. Whoa. Well that's twice now. You had the other interception by number five that went the distance. <laughs> Snap down, place up and it is. Good. Good, so with three minutes, 36 seconds to go, St. Joe's takes a 42 to 14 lead over Wayne Hills. You are watching WCTV, the whole volunteer group from the township of Washington. Well, that young man, uh, Jameson, he really, the moves he has, I mean, he, he's moving left and right as he's going forward. You know, unfortunately yeah. for, for Joe's, Farina got hurt, and, you know, it might be serious. But other, they have other weapons, and there's a perfect example of it. Yeah, sure is. Moscow will catch it at the 11. Angle to his right. And stand on oh. his feet. And he's turned around two or three times as he dropped on the 15-yard line. Great coverage there by St. Joe's. That time they kicked it to the, to the left hash. And you know who made the stop? Number 34. Mr. Fasadi, the kicker. <laughs> Fasadi is leads in tackles. A lot of the crowd that's here today. A lot of them are probably eating on the sideline. <laughs> nice oh, yeah, we'll thank, we'll thank the touchdown club for bringing some hamburgers up here. That was I very nice. I think that was Fasadi who made the hamburgers <laughs> for us. He's been doing everything out mm -hmm. here. Thank you. Thank there's, you so. Thank you so. Their, yeah, it is your room. Bar. That's the house where Tony Cross is. <laughs> It's time. It stays there from August to uh, January. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there a bed in there? I venture to say there is. <laughs> Bro, looking, looking, fires, incomplete, intended for Hogan. You know, Jim, I, I've said this a lot of times. I don't understand, why. it's tough for a right-handed quarterback to, to run to his left and try to, try to throw with any accuracy. And it, I even it, see that in the pros, I wonder how. 
It is the hardest thing to do. You got to make sure your mechanics, your shoulders, your hips are, yeah. are perfect when you throw the ball. You got to turn your body. You got to turn right. your your Absolutely. shoulders to face yep. the, right? You can't be running and throwing off off, off no. the wrong foot. Correct. So you got to go out and you're turning, and you got a lineman coming down or a linebacker coming down the line. Could be ready to see, whack, and you don't see it. Throw it like a lateral, underhand to That's what separates the great ones from the yeah, average ones. Yeah, that's true. In the pros, you'll see that. You know, little the, Elways, the Elways of the world can make that throw flawlessly because they had a great arm strength. Joe Pizarczyk, too. Remember Joe Pizarczyk? Oh, Joe Pizarczyk. Uh -huh. <laughs> Joe, was he threw it to the wrong people? <laughs> <laughs> what was when, that? When he what got that fumble? Yeah. When he got the ball in his hands. He yeah, oh, <laughs> the Pizarczyk, number 17 oh. on that play, oh. right? That's Philadelphia. Patterson Plank Joe. God almighty. <laughs> Three minutes, 21 seconds to go, 42-14, St. Joe's lead. There's time out on the field here at the campus of the St. Joe's High School. As we talk about an old football player, Joe Passati. Well, you know what happened after that play? He got a job with the, the Eagles. Eagles. <laughs> he, was, he might have been. Some people think he was on the Eagles payroll that I week. I think so. That was like... I think we should lose today. <laughs> That's what I tell you. What that play is what turned it all around for the Giants. You know, was right after that, on yeah. the field that day was uh, J T. Turner. J T. Turner was a coach at Westwood and friends of John and myself, and he told the story of what happened. It seems that during the week, the head, the uh, offensive coordinator, the guy Bob Gibson, was on Pasarczyk for making changes in the huddle that he didn't want. There were certain things he could change, right. certain things he couldn't. So yeah. they, they had this play, the last play, which is almost a 360-degree turn. And the, they're in the huddle saying, fall on the floor. Just, but he wouldn't do it. And the rest is history. The rest is history. I think he was gone after that. <laughs> oh, they all fired the next day. Hey, just nice go. Fake. Stops, looks, fires downfield. Oh. Tipped away. Tip drill. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of green jerseys were around that. Yeah. Shortly after that play, uh, George Young was hired as the general manager. That he, well, they, they went, they went through, they, right. they were playing too well. But that the following the week, they fired Gibson. Uh, McVeigh Mc, Mc, McKay was the uh, McVay was the uh, coach for the Giants. I'm trying to remember who was who was the coach. Was that Hoot Gibson? <laughs> <laughs> no, Hoot Gibson. I'm trying to think the Giant coached them. No, no. I I'm think it was McVeigh. Yeah. And they all got fired the following. He went that to year, Arizona. McVeigh yes. went to Arizona. Became head a coach. Became, head coach. Well, he became a fun office guy. He was a pretty good GM. And sometime in February, they finally got the two owners together, the two Maris together, and the rest has been history. Not a bad organization. The growth fires. Nice button has hook. There it is. And enough, right close to a first down, but I think it's going to bring, he's going to be short. Jefferson stopped him, but that was a great call. He made a nice move going out and then button hook and a completion. You can see when he does things right, he looks like a very good quarterback. He's just got to work on his mechanics. That's it. And that's what he, that's what he has to do the rest of this year in the off season. Just work, work, work. And, Next year, he could be a very viable uh, quarterback here for Wayne Hills. Jefferson's, Jefferson's dropping back, I believe, number one. Most cow does a lot of things here. Kicks the ball off. Ball bounces. Quinn watches it. And it's touched on the 43-yard line where St. Joe's will take over. With 2.28 to go in the third quarter, they lead 42-14. <laughs> New quarterback for uh, St. Joe's, Austin Bodrado. He is a freshman, 6'1", 165. And win. And win is brought down after a pickup of four. Now, if you're St. Joe's, you want a nice methodical drive to try to kill this clock now and not get anybody else injured. We had one injured player, and we hope that uh, Farina is, uh, is okay. For Sterla made the stop. You're right. Uh, the game is, you know, 204 to go in the third quarter. You want to prevent injuries. You lost mm -hmm. one young man who's going to hurt. Big, big, big cog in the wheel. And we, we hope that he's fine, you know, but didn't look good. Now, here's Wynn. And Wynn gets enough for a first down as he gets up to the 45 yard line. Throw a couple of uh, tackles that time for, for seven yards. And his shoe came off. He was running so fast, <laughs> he lost his shoe. Yeah, with the with the freshman quarterback getting good time, you know the position is is well stocked for St. Joe's with all camp back another year and Absolutely. this young gentleman for watch three and it. a half. Oof. Watch his style, how he hands off. He he's got all the the positioning properly. Watch this, nice nice mm -hmm. fake. Once to the outside. Oh, tries to elude. 
Did not had a chance to elude the would-be tackle him. Shunky. Number five, yeah. Oof. That's a perfect example of getting a weight room and getting a little stronger. Yes. And you have Rob Stern, your offensive coordinator says, son, you gotta move on that. <laughs> You don't want to give your arm out there. They'll take that arm right off. The speed of the game is a little bit faster. It is. Yeah. It is. Here he is. Pedrado. How would you like to be a freshman in your second string? Or at least you, right. your second one playing today. Pedrado wants it. Let's see his arm. Nope. <coughs> oh, no good. And he dropped. He didn't have his man running downfield June, so he held up and he didn't throw it downfield. Yeah, very good decision. Good uh, coverage by Wayne Hills. Don't throw an interception. Yeah, lift, you, lift to play another day. You had Jefferson. Jefferson was out there also, but he looked for the speedster, June. I wonder where he's going next year. Hey, I, I would be looking for June too. <laughs> Sometimes you, when he's one-on-one, -on -one, just throw it out there I'm like I'm looking for June myself for right. next June. He's looking for June, the June weather. <laughs> June weather. The June, the June, the June swoon. Uh, like June, you. June tracks out to the left. Jefferson is out to the right, and we have a timeout. stoppage in play. I don't know if we have a timeout, but we have the end of the quarter. That's what it is, as it snuck by me. So three quarters are in the book here at St. Joseph's High School in Monvale, New Jersey, where St. Joe's leads Wayne Hills <laughs> 42 to 14. Hills in 